Piper Nick here. I am in Liberty State Park in Jersey City. On a beautiful sunny Sunday, as you can see behind me. That's the Manhattan skyline. Oops, spider. I just want to make a video. Kind of like for you guys to watch and relax. And let me tell you about this. These are my old stomping grounds. My parents used to bring me here when I was a kid all the time and I loved it. All the time, for years and years. And uh, I unfortunately wasn't living in Jersey City when September 11th happened. I was living in Linden, it's like half an hour away. And where I lived in Jersey City here is right down that side. I'll pan over when I'm done talking. Um, I know uh, two people that were affected by the 9-11 tragedies. Uh, people that I, one person that I have worked with and one that I, I'm sorry, one person that I have worked with and one that I currently work with. The first person I'll talk about, her name is Jen Green. Her mother was a flight attendant on Flight 93, which crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. And I haven't spoken to her in a long time. Uh, but I'm sure, I know she's holding up. She's a strong girl. When I work with her, she's definitely a strong girl. Let me just tamp this, sorry. And the other person I want to mention that I work with is Jimmy Clark. He is a dispatcher and supervisor at one of my jobs. His brother, uh, firefighter Michael Clark, died on 9-11 over there. Um, he was, whoa, he was with Engine 2 in New York City. And another person I want to mention is John Scala. He was a Port Authority police officer. Um, I remember a couple of years ago, I was working in Passaic, and I first heard him, his, uh, John Scal's name there. Uh, he was a paramedic in the Passaic area, and I work with the person, uh, his name is Mike, I, I don't want to go into last names too much. He knew John Scal and has worked with him, so yeah, though I know those three people were deeply affected by this. I don't know if you guys can see me, I'm going to away a little. But it's good to come down here and reflect and think about, you know, everybody that died there in vain. Well, I don't know, I don't know how to use, I don't want to use the word vain, but part of my words, it's just, I'm, I'm at the peace when I come down here. It's good to come down here and reflect on die here, you know, be thankful for what you have right now, because there are thousands of people right now who don't have family, who don't have family members to go to right now, and I don't know what to say, I mean, I think all of us should smoke a pipe in honor to those who have to wait here, especially those firefighters, Police officers, you no know, emergency medical. Yeah. Crazy how you know how things happen. So I just wanted to show you guys some part of my stomping grounds. Figured this would be a good opening to my video. Those two names that I mentioned. Wanda Green was the flight attendant on Flight 93. Uh, she's the mother of Jen Green, which I've worked with before. Firefighter Michael Clark, Engine 2, New York City. And John Scallop, Port Authority Police Officer. 
smoke uh, a bowl of your best tobacco in honor of them and remembering them and all those who passed away here. Yeah. Beautiful Manhattan skyline. As you can see where the that tallest building there with the trains on top. That's the memorial that they're finishing up. So yeah. City, Bay State Park, Liberty State Park. I'm sorry, stuttered. A lot of people out today, so I'm gonna probably cut the clip here and show you the rest of Liberty State Park here, where my parents have brought me for all those all those good years. So yeah. Smoke a bowl in honor of all those who passed away here and never, ever forget that day and what happened. It's the uh, random memorial. I guess they will, I haven't been here in quite a few years. I know one year. Just thought I'd show you guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate what we've got. Because you never know when we're going to have it again. Oh, this memorial is dedicated to those who died in the Shanksville crash. On and right down there at a World Trade Center. Oh, what a coincidence. Remember, whoops, how I mentioned John P. Scallo, the Port Authority police officer? Well, there's his name right there. John P. Scallo. These names aren't any in any particular order, so you guys like this so far. I'm gonna go around some more and film some more. All right, I found another name that I mentioned earlier, Wanda Green, who uh, died on. Uh, Flight 93 in Shanksville. This is her name on the memorial here in Jersey City in Liberty State Park. I'm going to try to find one more name, and that's a firefighter Michael Clark. This is just nice. Nice 360. I'm guessing that this memorial I'm guessing that this memorial is, was designed to look like the Twin Towers. I 
like if you go all the way out the front, which I'll probably do again, but at a greater distance. So I'm not going to the Twin Towers. And it's exactly in the position where the Twin Towers used to stand. This is a very beautiful, very touching. It's emotional. I haven't been here in a, quite a number of years, so I'm going to continue filming. And, uh, guys soon oh i see his face is his face is right at it youtube this is where uh i'm going to show you the central row of new jersey for matches 860 like i promised you matches 860 uh, of my stomping grounds. I'm sure the old train station and a couple of uh, old train cars. Matches, this is for you. Hello YouTubers, hope you're liking the video so far. It's a really busy tourist day here. But um, yeah. This is all part of my childhood. I know that's boring you, blah blah blah. Sick of hearing about my childhood, but this is things that memories are made of, you know. Like with the Smoky Dagners, you know that awesome father and son team. See how you guys like bond together so much and it reminds me of me and my father. When uh, my father and my mom, they would take me down here with my brother. We would just play around like kids. Like, yeah, I miss those times. This place brings back a lot of memories. Like my father holding me and all those pictures me and him had around the park. So, yeah. I'm gonna rolling. I'm going to pan across the rest of the trains for matches. Whoops, son. Looks cool, doesn't it? Matches, open up. Come on, I'm here. Let's go to the pipe shop. I hear the smoking Dagners. They're in there right now. But I don't want to bother them. All right, YouTubers, this is the Communipol terminal. I'm looking this up on my droid. This is the Communipol terminal of the CRR New Jersey. Ooh, nice big boat. The Central Railroad of New Jersey. Um, it's built in the Richardsonian Romanesque uh, architectural style. Somebody walked by earlier and they were like, this is like something out of Jurassic Park, like a velociraptor might come up out at you or something. But yeah, I figured you guys would appreciate this, all you history and, you know, kind of buffs. So I'm going to go, I'm going to pan around. I'm going to go to where like the passengers would go in, where you buy your tickets and stuff like that. Yeah, this is it. I'm gonna pan around a little bit.
sit right there. I'm gonna walk. Let me, let me point with point with my pipe. I'm gonna walk on that side, and I'll film again from there. See you soon. Alright YouTubers, my pipe kicked, so I'm just going to hold it in for a sec. Over here, that's track one, track two, and then I'm at track three, here. And it shows you all the, where the train departed to. Filled it up, that's the filled up the express train, taken town, North Broad Street, Delmini, Hopewell, Hopewell, Wayne Junction, Philadelphia. And since I'm cheap and I can't afford a camera with zoom, I'm just going to walk. This is what it looks like. I wish they didn't have these damn gates up here. I could go in there. Of course, the tracks are gone. But you can still tell, you know. It's pretty cool. Uh, up to the left of the camera, they used to have like those bumpers for the trains. I'm going to film those. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to do some more uh, uh, ground stomping and show you guys some more. It continues all the way to the end. You can imagine what this must have been like back in its prime. So, do some more filming. Ah, track seven, lucky number seven. I didn't stop on here, I didn't stop at this one on purpose. Guess I'll hit the lottery, track number seven. And track number six, the hundred and commuter. Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? No more tobacco left. Plus my flame won't reach down to the end of the bowl. But yeah. And here's some of those train bumpers, or uh, John matches 860. If you know the exact uh, terminology for these, that would be great if you could tell me. But yeah, so pretty cool. Stick my fat head in there. They got the uh, bumpers, the gate there. I wish this, really wish this was open. Well, I guess someday they'll renovate this, fix it up, and it'll uh, look good again, like it did back in the days. And that is where you get your tickets, and that's where I'm going in next. So beard look. Oh, I can have epic beards like Piper and CHS. Not Dagner, you know. Got any advice? Just not shave. This is the inside of the terminal where you get your tickets for the ferries, of course. I should uh, clarify that. Back in the day, yep, through those doors, I think, is where you went. And this is how it looks. It's closed up all the way over there. Um, I'm going to go over there from those steps. 
and uh, shoot another clip, see how that looks. But, like I said before, I've been coming here for years. These are my stomping grounds. The place looked a lot better before they had like vendors and souvenir people come in here. Sometimes they have displays here and stuff. Art and really cool things. So yeah, let me pan around again. They won't let people up there. Brass rail, man. Dagner. Come here and skate this thing. Okay, here's another view of the terminal. This is really cool. I wish I could live in here. <laughs> There's not much else to it. All the other um, areas are closed off. For like storage and stuff, maintenance. But uh, at least, you know, they're keeping this part of history, you know, alive. Clean and good shape. Okay, YouTubers, I am outside now. This is the back of the terminal. This is where the ships, the boats would come in. I wish I could get on that side, but I'd probably fall right in the water. Cause all that looks rickety as heck. So yeah, this is where I used to run, play, you know, play, ride my bike, rollerblade, bust my ass a few times, you know, nicks and cuts. But yeah, this is where all the memories are, my stomping grounds. Yeah, they have the uh, Special Livery and Ellis Island uh, boats that come here. They dock right over there. And it's a swarm of people coming in now. A lot more than back in the uh, 80s and 90s. Probably because of what happened back in 2001. But I'm gonna walk out some more. Show you as much as I can. This is the harbor here, New York Harbor, Jersey City side, and that is Ellis Island. That tiny thing is Statue of Liberty. Oh, look at that. Look at the tiny ass boat right there. But these waters are where, um, during World War II, the uh, soldiers, the troops, would. Uh, you, uh, they'd board the USS Samaria in New York Harbor and they'd sit right across and pass the Statue of Liberty there, Ellis Island. That's really cool. So I just thinking about it, you know, you know, it really gets me going. Gets my adrenaline pumping. This is uh, on the side of the terminal. So you can see how long it is. Back uh, <laughs> at day, used to be a lot longer. But yeah, this is the uh, Communipa Terminal of the Central Railroad of New Jersey. This is the last clip in this area. So I hope you all really enjoyed this because I really enjoyed it. Brought back a lot of memories. So. Even though I have a tripod, I don't have it on the ground. But uh, this is where I'm going to finish in this part. Uh, see what else I can dig up and show you guys. And uh, I should probably invest in a nice pair of sunglasses. Because my right eye is cooking right now. So I will be uh, heading out now. As you can see, this bridge connects Liberty, this part of Liberty State Park. To the other. 
So uh, you can park on one end, walk towards the other, down this way, and you won't have to drive back and forth. Plus it's a good exercise. And a lot of people go fishing here and crabbing here. Me and my brother still do this. We haven't gone since last year, but it's all good. And this is a better, closer view of Ellis Island and the Lady Liberty there. And I also want to add, during the Men in Black movie, the first one, I think it was the opening scene, they had a helicopter uh, scene fly over this bridge here. And you can see Ellis Island too. So that's pretty interesting. I'm also going to drive through one other part of the park where I'll show you... Um, hold on, let me get my pretty face in here. I'm going to drive through one part of the park. It's a, like a, I guess you couldn't call it like an access road, side road. And they filmed another scene from Men in Black there. Where if you saw, if you remember the lady that was pregnant in the car. And uh, the two guys stopped her. And Will Smith is about to help her. And the baby's born is this weird alien looking thing that picks him up and slams and moves him around. Yeah, I'll show you the exact road that that was filmed on. And yeah. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, YouTubers. This is the strip of road where Men in Black shot that one scene with the lady giving birth to the alien baby and uh, Will Smith was uh, attacked by it. It, sh it should be right in this area somewhere. Right, right, right from where I started driving. Woo! It's bright. Holy shnikes! Right up into this area where the scene was. Now I am going to drive. No, probably home now or something because I don't want to. I'm probably going to drive home now because I really don't want to take up too much time here. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yeah. yeah, you know what? I'll film the other part of the park another time. So, uh, pardon the junk in the back if you see it. Oh, smell people barbecuing. It's so good. But uh, yeah, look at the uh, harbor to my left. Oh, John, matches 860. Look, train tracks. Woohoo! Oh, oh. Okay. More train tracks to the left there. I don't know if you can see. Another set here. Oh, and I'm quickly going to take you to um, a cobblestone street that still survives here in Jersey City. It's still in the park. We'll drive by in a few seconds. Okay, YouTubers, we have stumbled upon the famous Liberty Science Center. You can see that dome on the back there. That's a 3D uh, movie theater. It's really, really cool. Got really awesome exhibits. One day I'll go in there and film the whole thing inside. So the swamps to my right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, YouTubers. Uh, I should probably stop doing so much commentary at the beginning of every single clip. But anyways, it's one of the cobblestone roads that's left in Jersey City that still exists. I think the whole city should have cobblestone roads. They should get rid of cars. Well, not completely. They should uh, get the horse and carriages back. 
and they should build a huge skate park here for a Dagner. Yep, it's beautiful here. I wish I, I wish I like owned a horse. And I could just like trot along the cobblestone road here. Those condos over there, right below them, is uh, where the water taxi is. And I used to catch crabs over. Well, not like like dirty sex, sexy time crabs, but like crabs out of the Hudson River that you would eat. Yeah, I'd fish there, catch crabs there. My uncle has a bar there called the Harbor Casino. Figured this, I'd leave you guys with this video shot here because I'm going to go home now, have something to eat because I'm absolutely starving. So, see how I look in my rear view mirror. All right, cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's probably going to be a long one. Uh, I'm going to go home, eat, edit it, upload it. Please comment away, whatever, you know, whether it's about how much my video sucks, how uh, I suck. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, just put in your thoughts, stuff like that, and maybe give me suggestions for what else, or the kind of things to film. But I'm very happy with my stuff that I filmed today. And I will be seeing everybody later.